So let's have a look at what happens. And, and there's quite a few spirits here now listening to this. There, there weren't that as many just earlier, but there's now quite a few who have started listening. <laughs> and so I just want to address them for a moment. Um, if they can just be patient with me, because they like to hear things a lot more rapidly than what people on earth do them. And so if they can just stick around and be patient, they'll, they'll learn some things too, probably. So i just, just say that to them. All right, let's look at what happens when you pass. Have all of you heard that there's dimensions like of the spirit world? Yes. Yeah? And sometimes spirits call them spheres. Have you heard of that terminology? Spheres? Most people um, have had uh, know that there's seven. There's actually a lot more than seven. But seven is uh, the number that's often used for some reasons which we'll discuss in a minute. Now, these spheres are locations or dimensions in the spirit world. They are physical dimensions, dimensional space in the, in the spirit world. They are places where you can live. Follow me? You can live in these places. However, they are separated. The reason they're separated by what's called interstellar boundaries. And each interstellar boundary is a boundary of love. In other words, to get from the first sphere into the second, or from the first dimension into the second, your soul needs to resonate at a certain frequency of love before you can make that transition. Follow me? That's why sometimes the term, you hear the term vibrational. That term, vibration. What it is, just think about it as an emotion of love rather than vibration. Vibration gets all technical, right? If you think about it as an emotion of love, when an emotion of love exists within you that is in harmony with God's love, more harmonious with God's love, you can make the transition between the first and the second sphere. Does that make sense? Now, when your soul resonates with even more love, then you can make the transition between the second and the third sphere. And when your soul resonates with even more love again, you can now go from the third sphere to the fourth sphere. Right? So these are physical locations within the spirit world, but they are also dependent upon the amount of love that is in your soul. Does that make sense? That's why almost every spirit who talks to you, if they are of any development higher than the first sphere, they will talk to you about developing in love. And the reason why is because they've learned that the only way to progress is actually to grow in love. Uh, and we'll talk about love because there's quite a number of different forms of love and there's two in particular. Alright. So, most people when they pass from this world pass into the first sphere. And the reason why is that most people have a very um, injured view of love, you can say, on the earth. And that's why most people pass into the third sphere. It's very rare for someone to pass into the second sphere and almost non-existent until quite recently that people pass into the third. Now the reason why that is is because most people on earth are not aware of what love really is. Because most of us have a damaged view of love too. Right? Most of us think things are loving when they're not. And we'll talk about that tomorrow a lot more. So, we've got these spheres. And you can progress through these spheres while you are living here on earth. So, if your soul, if you decide that you want to develop your personal love, your love that comes from you, to an extent that you want to be as loving as you possibly can while you're here on earth, and you have a sincere desire to do that, what will happen is you, when you pass, you won't pass into the first year. You might pass into the second or the third or the fourth, or it's even possible to pass into the seventh or even above there from the earth. 
But to do it, you will need to learn everything you need to know about love. So you know how most people, when they talk today about metaphysics and spiritual things, they're so focused on all sorts of things like crystals and, and you know all these all these physical apparatus, right? It's a much more simple than that. All you need to do is focus on love and develop yourself in love. And you will find that the power of your soul increases and it increases exponentially as you progress through these spheres. And you can progress through these spheres on earth and all of a sudden you'll find one day you wake up and you'll be able to talk to spirits. And then you know, and then you begin, one day you wake up and you'll be able to see spirits. One day you'll wake up and you'll be able to heal yourself. And one day you'll wake up and you'll be able to heal everyone else. One day you'll be able to wake up and actually heal a limb if it's cut off and actually grow it back. These things are all possible if you grow in love. And you can see on earth, because these things are not generally known, nobody gets into that state. But it's all possible. Right? You've got all things possible, love. Right? 